Hey, peace and blessings, family. I uh, wanted to come live to you tonight and share with you these cases of Black femicide um, and why I, I really believe that we got to get this our whole attention. Um, because if we don't, we're contributing to Black femicide. Uh, I know this is hard, but I think we got to look at it. And I'm going to just try to go through these. The first is from Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Uh, this is a mother and daughter. They were fatally shot. They killed the apartment complex. Uh, and the gunman was the son and the brother of the victims. Um, and uh, y'all, their names, Danny Walker, 33, and Hazel Walker, 67, family. And so that's, that's the first case of the evening. The second case just kind of just tore my heart open. This is a baby here, murdered by her father on August the 28th in Evansville, um, Indiana. Her name is Iowa Merriweather. She was nine months old um, and, and she was killed in the apartment shooting. So um, y'all know how you can look at this little baby face and not feel some way. Um, we will never know her contribution. Um, and she's died so young, murdered. The next one is uh, Natasha Wims, 25 years old. Uh, this sister was killed in Indianapolis on the 28th of August. Um, and she was shot by a security guard, believe it or not. Um, and on Fridays, uh, on, um, on Friday, armed members of the Black Panther Party gathered at the scene where candles were lit. Uh, for this sister. Um, uh, she was just murdered. Um, and uh, there was no reason at all for this murder. So there, there, this is another sister. Black femicide is real. Black femicide is the killing of black women. It's like we have homicide, we have femicide. The next person is sister that was murdered in Memphis on the 28th of August by her child's father. Her name is Ashley Carter. She's 26 years old. Um, and this sister here uh, has children and her children will never know her. She's 26 years old family, mother murdered by her child's father. I know this is kind of hard because we sometimes in the black community, we don't like to hear about these kind of things. We may know people that are in domestic violence issues, situations, and we turn the other cheek and we've been the main one lighting candles and crying when we probably could have stepped in. So I salute to people who do that work because it ain't easy, but I just think when people lose their parents, you know, we we lose vital members of our community. The next sister was murdered on August the 26th. Uh, her name was Sharon Grant. She was 54 years old. Um, let me see, she uh, died from complications of injury from an assault early in the month. Um, and she has severe multiple blunt force injuries um, at about, about 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and this is in uh, Chicago, and she died of those injuries. That's really, really sad, family. Really, really sad. The next sister on here, Vera Howard, murdered on the 23rd of August from Chicago, Illinois. Illinois, excuse me, family. Vera Howard, 23 years old. Um, this sister here was shot in the head at 5:40 a.m on uh, June the 6th, but later died some months later of those injuries. Beautiful sister, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful sister, smile and all. This next sister was murdered and she was pregnant uh, with her first child. Um, this sister here, uh, Kiara McNeil, 32 years old. This sister uh, was shot at, in the Walgreens parking lot by uh, the father of her own unborn child. Um, and uh, she was pregnant with her first child family. Um, very, very sad, very, very, she was six months pregnant to be exact. So this is black femicide family, we gotta do more. This is a young woman that was expecting her child, first child, first child. We should all be feeling some kind of way. This is just senseless murder, senseless murder. The next sister here, is Paige John Jones, 27 years old, murdered on August the 24th 
in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, and she was killed uh, in um, Avon Deal, I guess it's maybe a section of uh, Illinois. Um, and um, the officer said when they arrived on the scene, um, people near the address said the shots were, they heard shots basically, and she basically died of her injuries at the hospital. Another sister dead before her time. Makes no sense at all. I don't know how we make sense of this, this straight out murder of black women. And we're all on hush because they weren't killed by the police. Um, the black community is. This next sister is, looks like Jan, uh, Janelle Crawford, 31 year old sister, killed in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, you know, uh, I guess when they got there, there were two victims shot in this 7,300 block of Frankstown. Um, and the sister was pronounced dead at 2.45 a.m. That's really, really sad. I mean, that was in the morning. And people are still searching for her killer who got away in a Kia Sorrento um, family. This is really sad. We really uh, are missing our, our, our women. We cannot have them be murdered like this. And we'd be crickets in our community. That's really, really sad. The next young sister, 18-year-old sister, this looked like Nasika Goodwin. Um, and she is 18 years old. She was killed on the 26th in Dayton, Ohio. Um, and uh, this is really, really sad. Uh, when they responded to the assault, um, she was gone. So they don't have any leads to who did it or what happened. But look at her pretty young face. She has a pretty young face because she's a child, but down there she's 18 years old. So she's just starting out of life. Just starting. Really sad. Next sister, uh, Renika Richburg, 32 years old. She was murdered by her child's father on August the 25th, 25th in uh, Avondale, uh, Avondale, Louisiana. Sorry, family. And I was trying to read while I was doing that. Um, this sister was, uh, was murdered, um, uh, by her child's father, I believe the father of the child, but her name was Lord Jones. Um, and he is actually still wanted by the police. So hopefully by the time we see this video that he would have been picked up, he was, uh, he killed the sister basically. Besides uh, being a mother of a daughter and a son, she also ran a hair braiding business known as uh, Nolan's hair head, Nolan's braid head. People flooded the business and Facebook page on Wednesday to leave condolences. You are an awesome mother and the best at what you do or did as a braider. One message said, you did not deserve this. And I guess this was a case of domestic violence turned deadly. That's very sad. And she's, her, she has children, her son and her daughter are going to miss her now they are without their mother. The next sister name is Serenity Sheets, 17 years old. Uh, she was murdered on the 24th of uh, August and she's from Indianapolis, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Sorry, family. Uh, so the neighbors recorded hearing uh, two dozen shots and then the victim was struck. Um, she was just uh, she was just always smiling and had everybody around her feeling the same way. So this is what Aaliyah Warren is saying about her, a long-term friend. Um, she had just started her senior year in high school. So they, um, they don't really have any uh, leads on this yet. And it sounds like this could have been a drive-by. I'm not sure. But Look at this beautiful sister, 17 years old. Just started her senior year of high school. So the violence don't stop because it's a quarantine. It does not stop. The next sister, Bridget Seals, was murdered uh, by her boyfriend on August the 25th um, in Zachary, Louisiana. Um, yeah, she was murdered by her boyfriend. I didn't read this pretty well. They had a history, now listen to this family, they had a history of domestic violence. 
court records, court records show that she was at, that he was actually out on a bail of seven hundred and fifty dollars for domestic violence arrest back in June for allegedly attacking the same woman uh, that he is now accused of murdering. That's why I'm not for the revoking a bail. I think people should not get out on bail. Um, this is really sad. This happened, and um, he was also charged with attempted first degree murder uh, when he went to court as well. Um, and he pleaded guilty to a lesser charge. And in a few years, uh, you know, he was out on that. That was back in 2011. So family, domestic violence, deadly. And um, this is just really, really, really sad family. Because they had this man in custody and she could still be here. You know, very sad case. Very sad case. Next sister here. Make sure I got myself lined up. And this is in Champaign, uh, Illinois, on Mon uh, was murdered on August the 20th. Her name is Jasma Cobbs, 36 years old. This sister, um, one person was dead, two others wounded. Um, they got to the 400 block of East Hill Street near 4th Street at 1.51 a.m., reporting the shots fired uh, uh, and found two men, two women and one man with injuries inside the home. Um, the woman was shot in the leg and the lower back, a 20-year-old man was also shot, both of them expected to live, but this person did not, and so she was basically killed. Absolutely beautiful, her hair on fleek, glasses, butterflies, too young to die, y'all, 36 years old. It doesn't say if she was a mother or not, but she's just too young to be dead, too young. Next is the Jasmine, uh, this is like Harriton, um, was murdered on August the 23rd in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, this sister was killed. Uh, she was killed and another one was injured. Um, the victim arrived at the hospital at 3.30 a.m. in a private car with two to three other people. According to the statement, the Kansas City police had the people in the car reportedly. Uh, they were in the area of 65th, 65th Street in Cleveland Ave when the shots occurred. Officers responded to the residency and involved the shooting. So they have nobody for this young 23-year-old sister. Dead, gone. Just senseless killing. Senseless, senseless, senseless. Makes no sense at all. Um, then the next sister we have here that has been murdered is Justice Hicks. Uh, was murdered on the 22nd. And she's from a part of New York. I can't even say this. Pachacha. Pad Ucha. Um, Kentucky. Um, this is the two people were killed on Saturday. She was one of them on the 22nd. Um, and the female car stated that the people were in the apartment that weren't supposed to be there. Um, and when they got there, they pronounced the victim, Justice Hicks, dead on the scene. 23 years old. 23 years old. That's too young to die. Just too young to be murdered like that. Next sister murdered on August the 22nd, Clarksville, Tennessee. I've been there before. Um, this is like Demetria McGregor. Um, and um, she was shot. That's all they have on, um, on August 22nd. Clarksville police are investigating a shooting that left a woman dead, but they have no leads, family. Look at her absolutely beautiful dimples, beautiful African features, lips, nose, the whole nine. And she's not here anymore. She's 30 years old. It doesn't say if she has any children or anything. When I see stuff like that, that really just breaks my heart. Next sister, this looks like Jasmia Chambers, 34 years old, loving the braids, loving the nails. This sister is in Syracuse, New York on the 23rd. She was shot in the stomach at about 2.40 uh, a.m. on Josephine Street near Butternut Street in Syracuse. The woman was taken to Upstate uh, University Hospital where she later died. Um, the police found multiple um, casings on the scene but have not made arrest in this homicide. So here this woman, we don't know if she's a mother, if she has children, dead, 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 dead on the scene, y'all. Next is in here. Murdered August the 19th in Washington Heights, New York. 
Uh, this is a fight for Tima, Boston, 20 years old. It basically said that this uh, woman, uh, young lady was discovered who had been stabbed repeatedly in an apartment on West 163rd Street um, near the intersection of Amsterdam Avenue. The victim who lived on the Upper West Side was rushed to nearby hospital, but later pronounced dead. She leaves two children. Now look at these young sisters. She's 20. She leaves two children, one and three. This woman, is this sister is 20 years old and being murdered, stabbed to death like that, she leaves a one and a three-year-old. Our condolences definitely go out to her children and her family, but 20 years old, two children, gone. Gone, gone, gone. These two sisters here, two women, are dead after a shooting in Riverside. This happened in Dayton, Ohio on August the 22nd. This is Tempreece Goodwill and um, Adriana Middlebrook. 20, both of them are 27 years old. Um, so basically, these two were found dead. Um, we responded the shots fired on Saturday morning. Um, once they arrived to the scene, the investigators found that two adult females had been shot, and one of them pronounced dead on the scene, and the other was taken to uh, Miami Valley Hospital, where she later died of her injuries. Uh, this, these, this case is still under investigation. God, this is ridiculous. 27-year-olds. We don't know if they have children or not. When we lose women in our community, that's like losing a whole lifeline. A whole lifeline. We should feel some way about that. All right, y'all. The next two sisters here. The next sister here. This is in Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, August the 21st. This is Marshanda Taylor, 21 years old. Absolutely just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful sister here um who is now dead um this young woman is dead at the gunfire pierced through a wall in the scotts land view of the scotts land bill house on friday killing her but sparing several seven other people inside police uh detectives believe that one gunman shot her house and then flee the shot in her house and then flee the shots rang out um and the residents in the area uh, off of a scenic highway just north of the airport was reported around 2.30. So, and this sister leaves behind two children. Again, 21 year old black woman, mother of two, gone. Black femicide is real, gone. We have two children without their moms here. Next little sister is May. Uh, she was murdered on August the 21st in Lewiston, Maine. Uh, Natasha Morgan, 19 years old. Um, this woman was finally laying on the ground in a driveway, bleeding from two gunshots wound. The witness said they seen a car shortly after the shots rang out. Um, this victim is a certified nurse assistant was under responded as the medics tried to revive her on the scene. The witness said that she had been holding a baby and arguing with the man before she was being shot. So whoever shot this sister shot her while she was holding a baby. No forgiveness for that, y'all. Don't make no damn sense at all. Woo, next sister. Bernetta McCray, 39 years old, from Trenton, New Jersey. Um, this was on August the 12th. Um, New York Jersey State employee was shot and killed in front of her home in Trenton, New Jersey. Makes no sense. Uh, something like this never happens, I guess, where there are the sisters act of violence, and violence needs to stop, uh, Ms. Simmons said. This is, I guess, one of our friends. The victim's auntie, sorry. Uh, there are so many things in the world today, and this is the last thing we need to see. Mm -hmm. and family member said that she was working on the front porch and went out of the blue. Shots rang out. So she was on a porch, and then out of the blue, shots rang out. This is really sad. Somebody said she was amazing. She was a serious-minded but was also dedicated to making her job the thing she did the best. That don't make no sense, y'all. 39-year-old woman, dead. Absolutely beautiful, flawless black skin. 
This is just really sad. Next sister, Alisa Scott, 39 years old, murdered March 20th in Hopefield, Virginia. Oh, a woman and a man were killed and shot on Thursday Avenue in Hopewell. Uh, when the police got there, it was around 2.30 p.m. They discovered uh, these two here dead. So, I mean, the man was dead, but the woman uh, was taken to the hospital. She was transported there, and she died of her injuries. Y'all, this don't make no sense at all. They said a four-door sedan uh, was seen on a security camera. A white four-door sedan was seen. So I guess they're looking for that, trying to identify the owner of that vehicle. 39-year-old black woman, gone. Last one on my list for the night. I know it's a lot, y'all, but I just feel like we have to remember those who died this way. I know it's not as exciting as protesting the police and talk about police reform. We need to do some reform in our own goddamn communities because these are too many black women dead like this. This don't make no sense. This sister is Melanie Ray, 40 years old. She was murdered in my hometown where I just came from, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, on August the 20th. Um, this is just, oh, this is in the Brewer Town section. Uh, my cousin used to live there. The 1400 block of North Eddington Street around 4, around 7.48 p.m. on Thursday. Um, to report a person with a gun. Arriving, the police found two people lying on the road with multiple gunshot wounds. The police said the woman was shot in the torso. Uh, she was also taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. A 35-year-old man was shot in the head. Oh, listen, in critical condition. Two weapons were recovered, but no arrests have been made. The woman, now look at her, y'all. No matter what you think she is, she was a mother of one daughter. She was a mother. Melanie was a mother of one daughter. It's really sad, y'all. This has got to stop. It's got to stop, family. I'm going to try to look at all these faces. These are the faces. A black woman who have been murdered. I picked the women out of August and a baby, y'all. A baby now. I picked this for all of August. I don't know if I have them all in here, but it's a lot. I think I got up to 20 women in here. And 20 women to be murdered during the month of August. And that's just, it could be more. Is ridiculous. A pregnant woman. You know. Look at their faces. A woman who owns a salon, a high school student. You know, mother's a mother of two and three and four children. It's ridiculous. You know, senseless. Murder. Black women and girls. Y'all, if we don't do something, this speaks to our community. We ought to be downright ashamed of ourselves if we don't say nothing. Family, let's do something. Peace, family.